It's time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben. Now let's dive in. So, Bitcoin on the daily chart here actually dropping below the 50 day moving average. This little indecision candle, this little green guy here, is being followed by a red bearish candle. So, if we don't see a push back up, this could mean we're going to have a sell off back down to 40,000 because it is really testing that 45,000 area. Now where this candle hit at is about 42 and a half and if we draw a line right where that's at we can see multiple candle tops that hit on this line in the past. So this is some support that may keep it from going all the way down to 40. We're going to want to see a rebound tonight or tomorrow something very soon at least back up to 47 48 now i am kind of curious if the coins that are still running the altcoins them being some of them being blockchains like solana and algorand if that's why we're having a slowdown in bitcoin and ethereum at the moment or at least a piece of why we're slowing down i don't know if there's any validity to that and we have Ether 2 just getting smashed down here all the way below 3300 that previous support that was resistance. So we are at the 50 day. We very easily could hold the 50 day because Ethereum is a more bullish chart pattern than Bitcoin. And we do have that very strong support at 3000. So we are seeing multiple coins still pulling back. Cardano tried to get back above 250 but on this daily chart not looking good still in this downtrend indecision followed by a bearish candle could lead to a sell-off we can see cardano back down to two now looking at it on the four hour you can see where it's just barely barely holding up for now uh, maybe those contracts will hit and it will be impressive and everybody will jump back in this still holding what i got left for now as long as this area holds up but if it starts coming back down to 220 215 i'll probably start looking to get out of there so algorand pulling back which is not a surprise i mean algorand just ran from a dollar all the way up to 240 so it was time for a little breather we got a nice downtrend. It didn't hold as well as I would like. I'd like to see $2 hold. But we do have this area at 180 here. We scroll back on the chart. You can see where multiple candles hit at it as resistance. So I'm expecting it to try to hold up this 180, 175 area. And we are kind of seeing that. We're going to hold up above 180 for a little bit longer that 50 day will catch up and then we'll have a little bit more support with that 50 and 10 day and we could see algorand continue i don't i don't think it's done yet i think we're just taking a breather we look at it on the daily chart you can see where we just broke above this main channel that it's been in for the whole entire year of 2021 so hitting new highs at 250 and that's why i'm expecting this area to hold up top gainer today luna getting some more action pushed all the way up to 44 dollars it's currently trying to hold 40 dollars as support if it can hold that 40 dollar area then we could see luna up to 50 breaking out of this big channel so same thing as that other channel we just got to see a confirmation uh, that it's going to hold above the top of the channel and then it will continue to rip but luna just still looking bullish like it still has some room to go and that's how a lot of the cosmos ecosystem as i've been saying is doing adam over the last couple of days really building up here on the four hour chart for a test of this 30 so i think we're going to see adam blow through 30 very shortly sometime this weekend now cgld did have this little pop but didn't even get the six my price target was six so I'm still holding it. It has pulled back, but it's another one of these sloping down channels like we had back here. So I'm expecting another breakout on it. If not, it'll just sell right down this channel until it hits the 200 day at 420. Now, I'm not really bullish on XLM, Stellar Lumens or anything, but I had an issue with the Tron blockchain trying to transfer some USDT 
that was on the Tron chain over to USD on the Ethereum chain or just trying to swap it. I was just trying to get that money off of the Tron chain. And Tron is a little annoying. It's not the most obvious way to do things compared to other blockchains. So I think Tron has got a lot of work to do. And the reason why I'm mentioning it during this XLM is because I ended up solving the problem by switching it to XLM and swapping it the way I wanted to. And XLM sends and receives very well, very fast, very efficient. It's one that's been around for a while and I was just impressed by the ease of use with XLM. So it does have this nice uptrend and I think one of the biggest things for adoption is going to be ease of use because not everybody is going to want to learn how exactly everything works but XLM Stellar Lumens has definitely made it pretty simple to send money. Besides the coins that's been ripping, a lot of stuff still looking very bearish, Matic looking very bearish. It is trying to build a little higher low here from this low, but just not very good price moving. You see where it just ran right into that 140 and got slammed right back down again. Had so, It's had so much problems with that area. Dogecoin is just getting tore up. Uh, Shiba might end up being the Dogecoin killer because... I'm pretty sure Shiba is looking the opposite of Doge right now. This is a very bearish looking pattern on Dogecoin. Looks like it's going to just drop below 23 cents here and probably dump down to 2021. Dogecoin is just not recovered from the original rip. Solana slowing down a little bit here after hitting that new high of 220. You can see we got a tight downtrend. Already buyers are starting to try to hold this up at 175 again. So holds 175. We can see it push right back up over 200. It still looks pretty bullish. Definitely want to keep on watch. As long as it's in this 170 to 180 area, it could pop through two again at any time. If it doesn't hold this 175 area, then of course 150 is going to be next support. Theta is another one. It was on a very nice run. But you can see just kind of that same thing where it never really rebounded like some of these other coins. And it's got that same little upside down U shape there where it looks like it's going to drop off. Tribe actually just hit all new lows. True hitting new lows. UMA just really dumping out way below the 200 and the 50. 50 is about to cross to the bearish side. Now, Tezos did make a break up, pushed all the way up to $7. Very nice run on Tezos, making a new recent high. The previous all-time high of this Tezos is $8.45. So it's not far away from getting up there and, and testing new highs. It's got to break $7. After it breaks 7 you can easily see it up to those previous all-time highs. At the moment, it's trying to hold $6 as support. If it can hold that 6 there, I think we'll see it rip. So that's all the coins I'm going to cover for today. We're just back in the consolidation period. A lot of stuff consolidating to the downside. Now, it is a possibility because we know this market can change at any moment that all these other cryptos that are really red and look really bad could start having some rebounds if we see Bitcoin and Ethereum start rebounding. They're pretty much pulling back because they don't have that much hype on them right now. Most of the hype is on the Cosmos ecosystem, Algorand, and Solana's ecosystem. So we're going to need to see Bitcoin and Ethereum come back alive here and stop dropping like they are for the rest of of the crypto market to rebound. Let's hop into some news, see what's going on here. Pantera Capital's latest crypto fund has raised $369 million since July. They had $4.7 billion in assets under managed in August, new filing show. So a, that's just more big institutional adoption of cryptos or at least they're investing in it irs makes a new crypto broker guidance priority in 2021-22 i wish they would not make it a priority and just forget about cryptos altogether and go back to doing the stuff that they're doing instead of messing with this stuff well let's be honest i would bet a million bitcoins that joe biden doesn't know what a crypto is 
He did have some PR on Algorand. Algorand launching a 300 million DeFi innovations fund, and this is going to help support the DeFi applications such as the exchanges, money markets, and the NFT platforms. If you don't know much about Algorand, it's a newer blockchain and it doesn't really have a lot of stuff built onto it yet. So this fund is going to help that development. So that is pretty big news for Algorand. Yeah, so right here they're going to do a $5 million super grant, or a super grants as they call them, building bridges between Algorand and other networks such as Ethereum, while the second one will seek proposals for integrating Oracle networks, which provide real-world information with, to the blockchain. So basically what this means is like your level two, the way that is streaming data, that's real-world information being sent to that level two. So this would be real world information sent to decentralized blockchains which makes the blockchains more efficient because if they're getting real world information with AI and that AI has the real world information to learn from constantly yeah you can see where this is going this is going to be a sci-fi world at some point one more last point on Algorand here Algorand already has 700 organizations building on it so there's a lot of organizations and this blockchain only being a dollar, two dollars with this much money being thrown behind it, this many organizations building on it. I just don't see it staying low for very long and it is easier to use than the Tron chain, that's for sure. So that's it for today's crypto update. If there's any coins that I'm not currently covering on a weekly basis that you would like me to cover, leave it down in the comments below. And let me know your thoughts whether you think we're about to see a wave of red across the crypto market or if we're about to rebound around these areas. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.